Okay, so previously Les has focused mainly on technology improvements on this uh, R1 with Michael. Um, today we're going to go back to the final three components of the drive train, which are the front and rear sprockets and the chain itself. It looks very similar to the standard R1 chain, um, but this is produced for us by DID. Um, it's lighter and stronger. Um, and reduces the loss compared to a standard chain. So just like any other part of the motorcycle, the chain needs regular maintenance and lubrication. Um, dirt can cause unwanted problems, overwear with the sprockets, so it's something uh, Leo has to watch and, and, and look at every session. The chain, like any part on the motorcycle, does have a finite life. And although it could do two or three race weekends, um, as a precaution, we change the chain every race weekend. So a chain does between five and 600 kilometres. So this is the last part of the drivetrain. This is the rear sprocket, as you can see, which is mounted to the sprocket carrier because we don't want to mount the sprocket directly to the rear wheel. So what you can see here is the Cush Drive inserts. Now these five rubber inserts, which have a life, uh, a, a life of 700 kilometres, they are basically a cushioning system for the sprocket carrier to, pr to protect the, the front sprocket, uh, the rear sprocket and the chain um, from the reaction of the transfer during opening the throttle and closing the throttle.